So we've got a bend table that's going to sit inside SOLIDWORKS. So under my tools tab in Diamond Bend, I've got bend table. And this pulls up a bend table for all the bend deduction data for this gauge material. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select, uh, in this case, for 050 material, I'd like to use an 8 millimeter V die or a 0.315 inch V die opening. And that's going to give me a bend deduction of 085. So when I select this, it's actually going to run a batch within SOLIDWORKS to update each one of the bends with that custom bend deduction that we're applying. So you'll actually see it running through, deleting and re-entering each one of these bends with the new bend deduction data. When it's done, it's going to give me an update successful. And what I can do is actually open up one of these bends and I can see that it's actually selected custom bend allowance for me. It's replaced that K factor value that Mike had before uh, with the value in our bend table. So then we can trust that our flat is good to be cut and bent. From here, we'll go to tools, diamond bend, and then show in diamond bend. And that's gonna send this part off out of SOLIDWORKS and into the diamond bend environment. So what you see now is the diamond bend environment. I've got the press brake that we're gonna be showing today. It's a 135 ton machine uh, with a three meter or 10 foot bed. Uh, and what Colin will show you today as well is our automatic tool changer that's attached to this machine. So the first thing that happens in Diamond Bend is it will run what we call a feasibility mode, where it'll choose a tool and it will run through the bend sequence, just bending each individual bend uh, with an individual length of tooling. And that's going to show us right away if there's going to be any tool collisions uh, based on the geometry of the part and based on the geometry of the punch that it's chosen. So we can see here that there are no collisions. And I'll go ahead and go to the simulation page. The simulation page is going to introduce the back gauges and the entire tool setup. So we can see here, we've got nine bends. We're currently on bend step number one of nine, and we can go ahead and cycle through. And you'll notice that it's gonna position the back gauge automatically for each one of these bend steps. And it's gonna cycle it between the different tool stations for us. So here's our nine bends. From here, I can save the program and we can either send this to the press brick by USB uh, or by a network connection. If I wanted to change tooling, I can change tools by selecting the tool, opening up my tool catalog, and choosing a different tool for the job. Uh, Diamond Bend comes preloaded with all major manufacturers' tool libraries built in. Uh, so all you have to do to set this up is go into your tools tab, pick your tool style, your manufacturer, pick a tool, and then add it to your inventory. And now Diamond Bend will always consider that tool uh, when it's coming up with the bend sequence. Okay, that's Diamond Bend in a nutshell.